Magnesium citrate and magnesium glycinate are two of the most popular kinds of magnesium supplements, but they're actually very different. And after watching today's video, you're going to understand exactly when each of them should be used. Hi, I'm Sage. It's great to be here with you. I'm here to be your source of cutting edge wellness information to help you find answers to become happier and healthier. Please do me a favor and support us by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. It just takes a second to do and it does so much to support our tiny family business. As you probably know, I'm deeply passionate about helping you, not just with educational information, but also by offering some amazing products that I developed for our company. You can find a link down in the description to the world's healthiest gourmet chocolates, delicious elixir blends, and the purest, most potent adaptogenic herbs. Magnesium citrate is one of the most popular magnesium supplements these days, and it's a great option for people who are dealing with constipation because it can have a gentle laxative effect to it. And so this works by pulling water into the intestines to make the bowel movements softer and easier to pass. But unlike something like magnesium oxide, the laxative effect with magnesium citrate is much more tolerable. It's less overwhelming in its intensity. And magnesium citrate is also commonly recommended for migraine prevention. Then we also want to talk about magnesium glycinate, which is known for being very easy on the stomach and very well absorbed. In this case, you have magnesium combined with the amino acid glycine. And glycine works along a lot of neurotransmitters like GABA to help you feeling calm and relaxed. So it can help with sleep quality and also promote a healthy circadian rhythm. And magnesium glycine is also used for blood sugar management and reduction of inflammation. So to sum it all up, magnesium glycinate is going to have less of a laxative effect than magnesium citrate. And because it's bound to the amino acid glycine, it's going to have a calming effect and it can be used for stress relief, insomnia, and anxiety. If you tried either of these, let me know down in the comments what your experience has been like. Or if you tried them both, let me know which one you prefer. And before you go, here's a link to a video that I think you would enjoy watching next. Here's one the YouTube algorithm thinks you'd enjoy watching next. And there is a link to our website. Have a great day and I'll see you all again next time. Music